Good morning. If your organization is having issues with retention of good people, you will not regret the minutes that you are about to invest in listening to this. This is Eric Aguiar with From the Ground Up. I am not the expert in the room, but I hope to be the light bulb in the middle that helps the decision maker, you, get an enhanced grasp of the issue and a clear glimpse of the solution. For an organization to enhance the quality of its service and to enhance its bottom line and the quality of its integrity, it must seek to attract and retain good people. But how do you do that? What comes first? The common misconception is if we can only attract good people, then our culture will improve. Our quality will improve. What we can offer will improve. But actually, until you improve the culture of your organization, you're not going to attract the quality you need to make the improvements your public desperately desires. I have not met a good leader that did not understand that there's a direct relationship between the quality of the employee and the longevity of success of the organization. So that begs the questions, what is a quality employee? And what do quality employees seek? A quality employee is a self-starter, is somebody that invests 100% of themselves to the achievement of the company objective and the company goal, is somebody that invest of themselves totally to the task at hand. One of the biggest attributes of a quality employee and probably one of the biggest reasons why organizations should seek to retain them is that this caliber of individual will tirelessly seek to improve their skill set, to be a bigger and better asset on a daily basis to the organization and mission that they serve. But from where you sit as a leader and as a person, ask yourself this question. How long would you invest in something without a return? That segues into the next and final question of this episode. What do good employees expect in return? What quality employees seek and aspire to is not unique to quality employees. It is an attribute of human nature. They seek fulfillment. As an organizational leader, you should strive to funnel these good employees into leadership roles. What sets the quality employee apart from all the other employees is that they are in constant search of how to improve the bottom line. They are constantly seeking ways in which to make the job easier for those doing it. Ask yourself this question as a chief or as a president, what would your organization look like if every single one of your leaders thought that way? Now that we've acquired a better understanding or an understanding of the order of things, of the importance of improving the company's culture before hoping to attract and retain quality employees. Now that we've learned a little bit about what quality employees seek, what's next? What's next is we funnel all of this information into the ground up approach. We go beyond personnel files and as chiefs or as presidents or as leaders, we sit down with each and every one of our employees and figure out where their gifts are, where their skill sets are and match those with organizational need. After these light bulb conversations are had, bringing clarity to all sides involved, or simultaneous to these conversations, your organization would be well served if it sat back and looked at systems in place, 
does your organization offer clear-cut career pathways for those seeking growth? If your organization does have said roadmap, then you are ahead of most. If you do not, all good employees in the world urge you to have one because there are few things less frustrating than to be left to not understand why, despite the value they bring on a daily basis, they're not being selected to have an opportunity to lead others in the organization to do the same. So as we sit back as leaders and take a from the ground up look at our organization, hopefully there are two main takeaways from this conversation. One is that as leaders, we understand that until we have a culture conducive to embracing innovation and improvement, we can never hope to retain quality individuals because that is what they bring to the table. And two, if we don't have a roadmap available to all to tangibly see the quality employees we need to stay will not because everybody seeks fulfillment. One of the biggest mistakes that an employer can make in this regard, and this mistake has a direct toll on the retention rate of quality employees, is to make these quality employees feel undervalued, feel as if they're good enough to be trusted with the job they have. They're good enough to propose innovation and improvement, but not respected enough to be invited to join the ranks of formal leadership. And look, quality people know and understand fully that an organization only has a finite amount of leadership openings. So they understand that not everybody can be promoted regardless of value. But what a quality individual, a quality employee needs as reassurance is that only quality people will be promoted. Thank you so much for listening. It is as always my hope that these segments serve as light bulbs in the room that inspire you as a leader to take action. Because you and I both know that it is only because the valiant efforts of your quality employees that your ship remains afloat. If a one-on-one -on -one conversation with yourself or your staff would be of service, I would love to have it with you. It is one of my goals professionally and personally to help see quality work being recognized. I can be reached at tacticalpoliceleadership9 at gmail.com. Don't forget that from the ground up is a good place to start when you're looking for lasting change. God bless.